In Wilkinson County, they're trying something new with an old school twist to get students more engaged. Pepper Baker took a look inside one of the high school classrooms to see what new tools are using to try and get students excited about math. Now, I don't know about you all, but when I was a student, I was always tempted to write on my teacher's whiteboards. But now with Wilkinson County Schools new 360 degree whiteboard classrooms, students get to write on the board without getting in trouble. Before we would just use paper and we would sit at our desks and I wasn't doing so good. Wilkinson County High School freshman Samantha Santoro looks forward to her math class now that she can work the problems out on the whiteboard. We all had this one question that we had to do which was a very multi-step problem and it took up all the space on the board. Each math class starting from third through 12th grade has 14 whiteboards around the classroom. It's a first for Janelle Clark who's taught at the high school for four years. At the whiteboard, three seats in me, simply I can stand right here in my class, look around and see, okay, quick, they got it, don't have it, I need to do something different. The teacher can stand in the middle of the classroom and look around all four walls and get an idea of how their students are doing in just a quick glance. Michelle Ransom, the county's instructional support specialist, says the goal is to get students more involved in class. It also helps teachers quickly spot struggling students. Um, we are looking forward to seeing increase of test scores and not just an increase of engagement. Um, we are excited that our students are more active in the math classroom. And it's a relatively low cost for high achievement. Each whiteboard was around $60 and we have around 14 for each classroom. For now, they plan on keeping them with the math classrooms, but Ransom says they really could be used with any subject. In Wilkinson County, Pepper Baker, 13 WMAZ News. Mayor Ransom says the money for the whiteboards came from a $5 million school improvement grant they received in 2018.